we have just downloaded R and Pandoc in our system. Now we are good to go to run our first R markdown file. If you recall, during the registration period, you have been provided with a test file. Specifically, it's a test underscore file that RMD. If you haven't downloaded this yet, please do so now. Once you download that one, save it to your preferred folder. In my case, I save it in this folder. You can choose other folder you like. Just remember the path of the folder. Now, to render this file, open R in a CMD or command prompt, type CMD and hit enter. You will be prompt or navigated to a CMD or command prompt. Now type R and hit enter. You can use small r or capital R and hit enter. The first thing you're, that will pop up will be the details about R, the version of R installed in your system. In this blinking cursor here, the first thing we're going to do is to install a package called R Markdown. But before that, let us first set the working directory. Type set wd, the working directory containing the R Markdown file, colon, and we will use slash instead of forward slash workshop. And hit enter. To list the files within this folder, type list.files. Hit enter again. As you can see, we have our test file here. Now, to render this file, this R Markdown file, to a specific format, we need to install first the R Markdown package. And to install that R Markdown package, type install the packages R Markdown and hit enter. You will be prompt or be asked to create a personal library. Just type yes and hit enter. Again, just continue typing yes and hit enter again. Now, window will pop up prompting you or asking you to select a specific cran mirror where we are going to download our R markdown package. So I will choose here, Australia. You can choose other links as long as it is closest to your vicinity. So hit OK. Now, if it's the first time you're going to install R Markdown, you would be faced with something like this. As you can see, there are many packages that are being installed along with R Markdown in your first installation. These packages are what we call dependency package or dependent package. These are the packages where R Markdown depends. So we have just successfully installed R Markdown package in our system. Now what we're going to do now is to render the file. Again, what is that file again? Render that file, uh, list that files. We have the test file underscore dot RMD. So I'm going, I'm going to copy this one and uh, now to render this one type r markdown double colon render and the the name of the file test file rmd hit enter and when you hit enter you will be you will encounter this series of messages it uh, it indicates the progress of the rendering and on the last line, you will see this output created test underscore file dot HTML. It means that the rendering is successful and the output is a dot HTML file. So where is this dot HTML file? Actually, since we have set the working directory into D slash workshop, then the test underscore file dot HTML will be saved in this folder. So going to that folder, we have here the dot HTML file. Double clicking this one, it will open the file into your local browser. In my case, I'm using Firefox. So as you can see here, this is the HTML file. This is the output. So we have here an image and even equations. We can zoom it in. 
So this is now the .html file output for our R markdown. 